Well, hello and welcome to Nathan's Garage. I'm Nathan Kershaw and this is The Mutt. And if you're new, thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to join us on this journey. And if you've been on this journey for a while, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Don't forget, click that subscribe button. As a few of the long-term viewers will know, I battle depression. And I've talked about starting a second channel about it for a while. It's a big subject for me and I have procrastinated. I'm going to start it tomorrow morning. It's going to be every morning, quick, a start to the day. Um, so anyway, that's it. Don't want to bring it onto this channel too much. Head over to Nathan Kershaw on YouTube and see what goes on over there if it interests you. So what are we doing today? It is an extremely exciting day because we get to see the overall silhouette of the car evened up. All wheels, inside fenders, tickety-boo, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. So we better get on with the other side, get it done, and then we can have a look around. The walls are definitely starting to close in, in here. So first of all, let's get it clean. Does not really look any difference, but I promise you, I have been doing some work. See, there we go. Clear it for the next project. There are way more professional and precise ways of doing this, but I've got to get this done today and I'm using what I've got. So I have trimmed these fenders up to the same bolt hole on both sides. So I took a measurement from that bowl hole, I think, which is around there, up to here, which was 15 and a quarter inches. I then cut out this shape <laughs> that shows, you know, the angle and distance from the body. And coming over here, I'm flipping it over, measured the same 15 and a quarter inches up, sorry, measured the same 15 quarters and inches up from the bolt hole, put that on, and then drew the line, as you can see. Now, to double check, what I then did was measured from the end of the drip rail out on both sides, and on the other side, that little pinprick is where the measurement is. So we're really close. So I'm actually gonna cut, I'm gonna draw another line and cut along that one there and trace it forward and then follow the body. Tons of measurements have been taken, I actually started cutting but we shall uh, look past that. Uh, so there we go. Toss it around there. Now obviously that cuts different this time because I'm not going to cut out the bumper mount like I did the first time around. So that's going to be straight. I'm not going to lie, I'm not sure whether I'm going more grey by the minute picking out fella or just getting covered in the dust. Ooh, I'm not sure what's been going on. It's definitely a little bit frustrating when, you know, 10 minute jobs are turning into hours, you know, and I'm not even, but still really thick. Uh, yeah, so it's just thick all over, all over and all over, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Now, the thing is, if the fender's like that, obviously we're going to be moving on to the quarter, and we know it's fairly deep, and this is the side that got hit. So, what happened? <laughs> right, okay, so let's clean this area off. Hopefully it'll take less time, and be a little less awkward to hold. Let's get on. 
Yeah, next time I buy an old car, I think I'm gonna take a big old magnet. <laughs> so, fully prepped. And then around here, in the dust storm. This one, prepped as well. And I haven't taken the, the, the little star back. I'm just, I'm being pretty nice, I can't be asked. So let's cut some strips. Like I said, I wonder whether this one is going to turn out as good as the last one. Because <laughs> if you look at this, that's not a straight line. Not a straight line down there. Oh, this should be a fun one. Get a few more here, shorter ones here now. And put her on. Times of the bug corral. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Wait, I'm gonna come around. Mm -hmm. Good morning, I might need it. I'm gonna see me. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> what? I have. Well, I have a conference call in 10 minutes, so. So, we're just making this side look like the other side. Right. Because the back of the bug isn't centered. So, it's slightly different. There's slightly less of an extension on this fender than there is on that fender because the back of the bug is bent. Oh wow. Yeah. So but why wouldn't okay, so if why would it why would that change the size of the fender though? Because the back of the the back of the bug's over slightly. But it's a separate part. Oh so the it's attached to it. Right. So there's the whole thing got crunched or something inside. Yeah, it? like the front of that that front corner got hit real bad. Mm -hmm. And this this is full of filler. Mm -hmm. This is full of filler and the door may be a new door because this is a you see all the different layers of paint right see this car is you know it's in the right city it's in the right town it's full of filler <laughs> like most of the women in la <laughs> she's just keeping up with the trends oh you can't, God, so you can't judge her for that you that's know? so funny have you seen that side yeah, yeah you've you seen the step yeah yeah we talked about it have you told everybody that you're going to replace these seats for sure? No. I know that there were some concerns and I just want everybody to know that there's no way I would let these be the permanent seats. It's not going to happen. These are trial seats just to get, you know, and see the sense of like, how does it fit? Whatever. He's going to get better seats. It makes me nervous like when you like, you do stuff and you know it's temporary, but you don't tell everybody else that it's temporary. So then maybe they're like, yeah, that Nathan. Guess he just doesn't care that there's like exposed foam on the seats, and so you should just, you know, let people know. You're yeah. not gonna, you're gonna leave them hanging with some janky seats. The steering wheel, on the other hand. Um, that's it, really. I mean, just this is the first time that I'm gonna roll it out later on. Hopefully, I'll do it before it's dark because it'll film a lot better if yeah. it's not dark. But this will be the first time I'll put the front fender on, the hood will be on. It'll be the first time that the overall silhouette of the car is complete so that's an exciting day why are you acting like it's like uh, ho -hum, no big deal it's a little bit nerve-wracking i'm not gonna lie evening up bodywork sure you know again the cuts the same the curves the same yeah on both sides it's because like you're I, doing it without bondo yeah but it's a foundation but of you're it your own Picasso. <laughs> yes yes <laughs> Because I cut this fender differently, like higher up. So, yeah. like my original cuts of the actual wheel arch itself are just a complete hack job. So, this is, as I say, this is good practice. And then I'll keep my eyes open at the scrapyard for other fenders. I'll just buy them and have them. And then when I want to redo them, I'll redo them. Get Dove Blue. Keep your eye out for Dove Blue fenders. That'd be perfect, wouldn't it? That'd be amazing. That guy still has them. He does? The fenders? But they were on the floor when I saw her. Well, let's call him. Go to California. We'll go on a road trip to California City. Okay. I'm serious. I'm serious. Why wouldn't you try to get them? Okay. Wait, you know the guy has them. And you know you want a backup pair. And you haven't secured that set. So, yeah. So, that's it. Good day. A good day, indeed, is being had. A full day. All right. Well, awesome. Well, thanks yep. for the update. Thank you for coming out. <laughs> well, you know what? Evening up custom bodywork on both sides is not as easy as I thought. Did I think it was easy? No, I didn't think it was easy, but it's really difficult. 
the done side. On the other side, and don't get me wrong, it's damn close. Like this is within a sixteenth, you know, and I can just bend the metal and it'll be bang on. And the back end of the car is off. Like up until all the mounting into like here is millimeter perfect. And then by the time you get to the rear frame horns, the horns that I've made, which are bang on, the the, the slopey down C pillars are what's over a 16th what's the one over a 16th 8th something like that but about it's about that far over so that kind of throws everything off like so these strips aren't the same size as the other strips to get three quarters of an inch wheel poke which I think I well, kind of like it think it is good don't know what suspension travel is going to do don't know how it's going to tear itself to pieces um but very interesting, you know, dealing with old stuff that's bent. The original car, you know, was hit. Don't think that's bent. But I'm going to roll it forward now and see if we can see kind of what it looks like at the back. Car is behind us. First look with all fenders on. We're doing this together. Oh, oh my word. Damn. Oh. Oh my word, look at that. Oh my god. It's so cool. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, that is so cool. That is nuts. Okay, I'm gonna roll it forward and uh, see if we can see that ass. She's rolled forward. Now, I was originally wanting to get her out, but I'm still waiting for a water pipe. And I don't wanna start her up dry again. <laughs> oh my word, look at that. Look at that. Oh, light. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just so cool. It just looks like appropriate. Appropriate is the word that comes to mind, but I don't know, just all the wheels are covered. It just looks like, it feels even more possible now. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So yeah, so <laughs> that's a lot simpler than the other side. You can get that done tomorrow. Get that closed in tomorrow, fill the panel under there tomorrow. Uh, then figure out the front of the fenders. Got a gentleman coming either Friday or Monday to help with that. Mm, there's been discussion of standalone, which I am more and more open to every single day. Oh, I just love that front end. I wonder if Miata one would look as good. You know, me are to swapped bug. Oh, my word. Just awesome. So is it coming across to you guys that I think things are going rather well? If it isn't, it should. Oh, I cannot wait to get it out. I really can't wait to get it out looking like a normal car. Right, that's it for this one. I shall get my edit on now and see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow.